Hi everyone, before we dive in, here's a quick look at 7 mushroom designs, just to spark some ideas. In this video, we're going to focus on making the blue one, which will have a fun little wiggle animation. In this video, we'll start with modeling and then move on to rigging using AutoRig Pro. I also used a reference image to get the shape just right. Let's jump in. Modeling. First, we start with the stem. Just shaping the base so it'll be easier to adjust later. Alt plus Z is default X-ray mode shortcut. Adding the ring at the top of the stem, this gives it more character. Started with a solid ring, then used V to split it up. Now, it's got that nice torn veil look under the ring. On to the gills, which sit above the ring. Use Shift Control Numpad Plus to expand the selection gradually. This helps in selecting faces efficiently without manually clicking each one. I'm shaping them with a wavy pattern to make them look more natural. These make the underside of the cap look more realistic. Finally, let's shape the cap. A little curve will make it look more natural. Just like with the ring, I split the cap's lower part using V on the vertices. creates that natural torn veil effect hanging under the mushroom. later to make them move naturally. Should add a nice touch.
right, let's tidy things up, starting with the ring. Shaping the bail pieces so they match the reference better. I'll straighten the top, but leave the bottom curved. This way, rigging will be easier, and I can always adjust it later with the rig. Face orientation, check. If there are red color objects, select all objects. Go to edit mode, press A to select all vertex, then press shift plus N. Apply subdivision and solidify a modifier. the edges of the veil pieces. Both on the cap and the ring. To maintain sharpness when using the subdivision modifier. Modeling is done. Now, let's move on to rigging. Rigging. First, setting up the main bone in the stem to get the basic structure in place. Adding extra bones for the wiggle effect. starting with the ring in the middle. This bone for wiggle effect. for the cap and gills so they can move along when the mushroom wiggles. 
you can use the magnet tool to easily snap onto faces. Add more wiggle bone. Just realized I forgot to add a wiggle bone to the tip of the cap. Let's fix that real quick. Don't forget to parent the wiggle bone to the main bone. Select Match to Rig. rig isn't working because it hasn't been rebound. I need to rebind or reparent it. Next, select the rig first, then the object you want to rig. After that, just hit bind to connect them. All right, everything's set. Let's test it out and see if the rigging works smoothly. You can also edit the custom bone shape to adjust the rigging appearance. At first glance, the rigging looks fine, but there are still some areas that need tweaking. We'll refine it in the next part to make the movement even smoother. Next, in part 2, we'll move on to UV mapping and weight painting to get cleaner textures and better movement. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss it. See you in the next video.